John here. I'm just showing King Jodor to uh, catch up with him. Hey, John Wano. Yeah. How are you? John here. Yeah. Where are you? I'm at uh, home. Oh, okay. Hey, um, I've sent some stuff to you if you want to. Yeah. Uh, so just give, give, get you up to speed where the other ones are. Yeah, but yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're yeah, going in yeah. now. I got my bar uh, my uh, private investigator back again. The follow I had in 2012. So, so what they've decided to do, the other chiefs, uh, is to pay his bill with me, so we can finish off Cook Street. He's gonna, he, he'll whop the whole lot out. But okay. my other lawyer, the the South Korean guy, buggered off. He's, 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 he became John Key's lawyer, so they're in trouble with me now. He, he's, oh, the lawyer. Yeah, you type Choi, the lawyer I had doing all my work. But you see, no. I asked them. Oh, I wrote to him and told him we're going to pay his bill, but he's, uh, he, they said he's overseas. And uh, his secretary says, oh, no, that's all right, pick your book up. Um, they won't be, won't be needing me anymore. I think he's done a runner with John Key, and uh, he's, he'll be in trouble with me now. He's got all my stuff, you see, that's gone to Britain. He's got all my documents that have gone to Britain with his signature all over it. Uh, and John Key, you see? They're caught up in the in the in the Panama papers and the thirteen million dollars that John Key sent to uh, Hillary Clinton. And he's got in trouble with that. That's why he, he finished being Prime Minister. Now he's the director in the New Zealand. And be in more trouble. Anyway, on the good side, um, uh, we're just about there with Cook Street, but that uh, private investigator is an uh, uh, ex-British uh, 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 detective from the Scotland Yard. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've, I've done a lot of work with him, so I'm just going to uh, find, he's, he's doing the bill up now, and he'll finish off the whole Cook Street and, and seize the property for me, because that's what he was going to do. But he stopped when I couldn't pay him. You see, I could have, I could have, I could have got that place long ago in 2012 if I paid him. And so, huh? Oh no, I'm gonna, he's making the bill up now, and we're all going to chip in. The, the chiefs all, all, all we, we're going to have a meeting before, before the, I think the 20th, I think before the 28th. They're calling, they're calling a meeting up at uh, Team Marae. Did you know about that? No. Um, well, they'll, they'll organise something. I've got that Te Unga Waka Marae any time I want it for just a koha. That's where I used to be before. Yeah. When me and Mohi was going there, we had it for nothing. We wasn't paying anything for it. And now they just told me, oh, you can have it any time you want it for a big hui. So any time we want to, we just do a koha for the, for the marae because they are involved there with all this now, with that case. Yeah. They've gone in with it at the Mariah and it and them, and, uh, and Paula, Paula Hagaraya. Um, so they've, 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 they now know this is more important than any other bloody thing. Because they land over there on that Mariah, the church sold it off. And they didn't want that to happen, but they, they did a little bit of a crookie on them. And they want, yeah. they want the other piece of land back at the back. It's quite a big block there, with all, all that church and everything in it. Yeah, so that's our meeting place all the time now for that any block of land in Auckland and the business. So, 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 so it's going to work out exactly the way I, I had planned it. But now that those chiefs are all on side now and with you signing that thing, that's gone and made it better still. Because what's going to happen after that? We're getting your marae back and the land and the, and the whole bloody place. 
straight, as soon as I'm sitting in that office up there, that's what that fellow Grey male is going to do. He'll he'll sort it out with the with the uh, uh, police and and with the courts. Because we went up there with Shaw and me and uh, Manahi went up to the police station, and the girl over there is, happened to be Bundy's niece or something in the police station. So uh, the old guy there, see, I I could have been handcuffed for going in town, but it didn't happen. Um, okay. I'm supposed to be barred from going in there this month when my trespass is over, but it didn't happen. I said to those guys, oh, you know, I might get arrested, but they said, no, nah, go on, we go. So so that went past all right because the police saw me and the guy behind the counter, the old guy, the superintendent, um, uh, Bundy said, oh, we want a photo with you. He says, go on, try and put your photo up. And he said, no, 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 no photo. He said, I'll come out and see you on the outside. <laughs> So, so that was right, and even the court, <coughs> the the lady behind there, the, the registrar of the uh, family court, she from Nati Pro. So that made that better because it stitched us up with her, not yeah. to not to get in our road, not to get in these old guys' road. So you follow okay. all you follow us all set straight to Britain now. That's straight to Britain, right past them, and I'm expecting to take that land at Cook Street. That'll get, get us going with the power note. I'll just write the power note and we'll, we'll be away. Okay. Finally. Okay. But but that's the, the latest. So what I've sent to them, I'll send to you. That's the latest on this video I, I made back in, in, with that lawyer. I mean, not with the lawyer, with the, with the, the private investigator. He's a... Yeah. yeah um, and now I made another one. Uh, when was it? Yesterday. No. Uh, yesterday with him. And and he's on the video saying he'll he'll carry on and do it. But yeah. I, I get on with him. He 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 he's sick of these people over here too, crooking the system and crooking the British too. So he's got to make sure that nobody gets away with it. The the British the British guy. It, that's why this barrister, my barrister here, they're bloody crooks, mate. The the the, the, the lawyers here, no good. Look at my lawyer. The New Zealand lawyers are, uh, and the judges are, are crooked. They, they won't, you won't get anywhere with them. But this guy yeah. coming from Britain, he'll clean them out. Yeah, okay. he'll clean them out. So I'll just keep in touch with you now because it looks like, certainly looks like the, the, the kid behind you on Titi Marai. And I think those uh, hey hey and them is a little bit out of order because of, of what's going on over there. I'm not going to worry about that, but these can, you fellas can we'll full sort that out anyway. They'll come right. Okay. 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 Right. Okay. Right. Check your email at some stage. Right. Okay. Right. Right. There you go. That's King. Let's get in touch with him. That's the first time for a long time I have been talking to him. So I just follow him in now. Get his mother away back. Um, so I'm going up to the gym shortly. <coughs> I've finished coughing. Not bad now, just a little bit. But uh, Maggie's done a great job at um, um, physio, absolute physio, in Manukau City, uh, 16 uh, Lambie Drive. I walk a long way uh, to get there on the bus. Uh, but however, she's fixed my my kidneys up or whatever and stopped me from coughing. It worked. And stick the needles in. And Next week I'll get my cupping, suck some more black blood out of my head and no medication, I feel better now. I'm, I'm getting my health back together, I've dropped my weight down uh, and feeling much better. Although the blood pressure is a little bit high. I'm just going to do a test in front of you. I'll do a test in front of you, just to see what it looks like. I do this, I do this now religiously. Oh man, my, my place is a mess. I got my cake right here. I have a little bit, not too much. Right, all my readings are in here in the book. Another one, another one. The other one. There's my other book. Just humbug. <coughs> oh, it's my bag. 
ready to go to trim the core. Really. Sorry about that. I'm a bit disorganized here, I guess. Right, in my book. I'll show you. In my little haste, I've got all my readings here. See? Oh, my blood readings. So I can see the progress. I'll just take it every now and again. And now, that's how I do it. So I go, date. Today is Thursday. The um, 5th October 2017 time is 2.03, 203 p.m. And then I go Fitbit, Fitbit sitting, sitting at 75 because I've been walking around, 75. And then I do this, a little gadget, yep, junk. I put the first finger in, push right in. So it reach, I'm going to put it down flat. So it reach. It's a bit temperamental. I don't know why it's so temperamental. <coughs> <coughs> That's not a cough, it's just a humbug. So we're just waiting for the reading. It's not going properly. No, that's not working properly. What is wrong with this? No, it's going now that I hold it down. Right, 78 over 91. 78 of 97. 78. 78. Oxy. 78 over 97. That's on that finger. And then I'll whop it on that finger. Second finger. Go again. It's got to be, the, the bar's going right up. Right up. It's going right up. 82 over 97. 82 of 97, 82 of 97. That's the left finger, right finger, right finger. Put on just over that, only. Okay. And you can see the reading going up. Ah, oh, it's not even working. Ah. Oh. It's not working. Not working. It's working now. You gotta put it on the flat. I don't know why it's doing that. 78 or 93. 78 or 93. And the last one is the second finger on the right hand side. Seventy-five over ninety-seven. Seventy-five over ninety-seven. Seventy-five over ninety-seven. I think they're a bit high, but hey, I feel all right. I feel good. I worry about what the doctor says. Get by without them. They're not always true. They're not always true. They've got it wrong with me. They got it really wrong. I'm not. I'm not going to let them practice on me anymore. Be my own doctor. I don't trust any doctor anymore, especially the Indian one. He can go to hell. I'll do a better job than him.
of fixing my shelf. Already, Maggie, the Chinese, has fixed up my, all my aches and pains. No problem. I swear by acupuncture and cup, uh, cupping and bloodletting. 177, 180, 190, 205. 205. It was a 205 blood pressure cut off. That's on this machine. On the machine. You see it? Here. Oh, shucks. What happened there? I've lost my reading. Oh, there it is. 159. 159. Over 78. Over 58. The pulse is good, it's 58. 98 is still high, should be about 78. Um, and the other reading, it says 164 over 105 over 69. I don't know what that means. But that's my reading. Um, 159 over 78 over 58. Normal reading. Is 147 over 85. Oh, 147 <coughs> over 78 <coughs> over 58. I got those two reading right. It's just slightly high on the systolic. <coughs> the systolic, the diastolic is about right. <coughs> At 78. You see, that's without medication. The medication is bullshit. That's all I can say about it. So there. I've done my little test, and because this morning I've had um, two lemons, the juice of two lemons, I've had slices of ginger root, I cut it up and scraped it into the lemon juice, put in the apple cider, then heated it up in the microwave till it got warm, then dropped in the honey, the stuff that um, my friend gave me, um, Matakiti, she's a um, Tohungo or something like that, um, they gave me a bottle of it and I dropped that in and down. And after that I had some uh, one orange, I got some orange, they're only 99, $1.99 cents, $1.99 cents for all of those. So I had one orange for breakfast. And had a bit of chocolate and some caramel, round chocolate peanuts. That's all I had for breakfast. Uh, nothing else. I don't want anything else. I'm just down to losing some more weight. Um, so that's all I want to say on the video. I'm just going to done my. I've got a duplicate of my website <coughs> for uh, Cecile. I'll give her a hand on on the MyPowerhouse.com website and uh, clean it up, ready to go. Uh, we're going to um, get the tag pay going as soon as I get financial. Um, we're going to seize the Cook Street, boot those two owners into the prison, and John Key, and the lawyer, Utah Troy, and all these staff into the prison they go. They're going in, we're going after them. We're going to build them and shut their business down. Even my doctor, I'll shut these business down because of this corruption with these medicine, medications. All this time, those doctors have been just stuffing me full of medication and making money out of it. That's the end. I think your days are over with medication. I'm going to burn the whole bloody lot and get rid of you. So that's what I'm saying on this video. We've had enough of you. The people have had enough. And with those fracking and uh, water, um, water contamination, the farmers that are polluting the, uh, the rivers, you're going to get a bill. You, you're going to pay for it, not the public. You're going to pay for it. All your cows and everything that's going on with chemicals and the 1080 poison, you're going to get this poison jammed down in your throats with the law on our side in this book. This law is going to shut you down. There. It's out there, putting it out, so people can see that's a king's law. Get in the way of the king, you're going to get wiped out. Third party. First and second party to the British Navy, 
royal prince David, and the government. Third party, Queen. Everybody on the Queen's side, including Maori, all their documents and everything is fraud. I'll tell you right on this video. It's fraud. Everything this government has put together in this country right back through the years, from the time we got this flag in 1834, back to 1831, in the church, St. Mary's Church, back to 1820, Te Waikato, Whare Here signed a deal with King George IV to sell this country and the Pacific Islands. Right back to then. You get them billed all the way back then. 970 million trillion trillion pound notes. A trillion pounds for a birth certificate. That's what I say. What I say is guys, these chiefs here left it to me because as far as Bundy is concerned, the Whakamininga is not a trust. So be it. All the trust is the money, is in, and the gold, and everything that's been stolen from the people of the world goes into the Maui Crown King William IV Trust here in the new British Empire, Empire State Building in Cornwall Park, Auckland, Auckland Green Lane. That's what Mohi Manaka wanted. That's what he gets. He gets his wish and his memorials to his tupanas, Refa Refa Manaka and Timati Manaka the first Paramount Chief, Refa Refa Manaka Paramount Chief to Te Rewaikato, Whare Here Here Manaka, Mangatatu Mountain Paramount Chief. There. That's how it is. And this book is everything in there. <coughs> this is a magistrate court that will whop the whole lot of you thugs in New Zealand and all the other countries as well. In the United States, this book will go right over the top of you, uh, Donald Trump, because you're in the racket too. All of you are in the racket because John Key has got his finger in everything. And the banks are all liable and in New Zealand is liable. You're going to get the bill. This book can bankrupt the whole lot of you because of the fraud that John Key has done to us in this country and especially to these paramount chiefs. Okay, now King is in there, he's an Ariki. They're, they're, they're all Arikis <coughs> up north. <coughs> <coughs> On Titi Marae and Waitangi Marae. <coughs> That's why this, this government has been so sneaky in taking the mana out of the flag and the ship on, of Admiralty, King William IV ship, on the treaty grounds and making the money that these Arikis are not interested in. Well, in Auckland, where the business is, that's the Maui Crown King William IV Trust business. At this moment, I just make this public announcement, uh, announcement from what Bundy says, the um, Whakameninga flag is the 1834 13 chiefs. Has got no trust involved in it. That means it really can't have any financial gain from what I do on the other side of the flag, the declaration of war flag. The 1834 declaration of war flag is the opposite to the Whakameninga 13 Chiefs. Okay? The 1835 Declaration of Independence is the 38 Chiefs. The 1834 flag they call the Whakameninga up north in Titi Marae is just called the Whakameninga. Nothing commercial, spiritual. That's all it is. And in Auckland I have uh, the Moriori title with uh, Manahi has been the chief um, uh, descendant of Te Rawakato Whare Here Here Manukau. He is a creditor with me, the executor of the Mohi Te Māti Manukau, the fourth paramount chief's <coughs> estate in the Freemasons and their private business 
in Edinburgh Magistrate Court. Nothing to do with family, nothing to do with anybody. Contracts are nothing to do with land and or um, collections to the family. Um, the instruments, however, is what it's all about. The instruments of value over the land holdings and the land leases. All these lands are not owned by anyone. They are all leased lands under the King's Bench uh, uh, Courts, Magistrate Courts, right through the world. That's the part I'm managing here in this British State Empire building that's going to go up. That's about five billion worth. It's going up. That's what its value is. And Titi, Marae and all that new development up there, that's looking at about 1.5 billion. Um, I've got the plans for that ready to go, but I'm not going to worry about that at the present time because as far as I can see, the Whakamininga wants to trade itself with its flag of, um, um, well, however they call it, that's the Whakamininga wants to run its business. So it can. It can do what it likes. It can have its own government. It can choose to have the Maori government or not. That's up to those four chiefs, three chiefs. Uh, but on the other side, um, the Cook Islands and Hongihika is um, uh, Bundy um, on that side. But Manahi and myself with the Moriori are responsible for the Manukau title the Moriori Manukau title. And I'm on the other hand is the St. Mary's Church and St. Patrick's order of this flag and that business and also the Maui Crown King William IV Trust and the Maui King William Party in Westminster. All the business side of this flag is under the 1834 Declaration of War State of Emergency Flag. That's why I'm calling it. I'm calling it that underneath the My Crown King William IV Trust. Everything in, in this flag was given to us is a trust with shares and bank notes and commercial trading in between one country and the other. And it can't be used in any other form. It has to go through this trust. It can't go through the Whakamininga because that's not recognised as a country-to-country -country contract. These are contracts. The Whakamininga is not a contract. It can never function as a contract because it's only spiritual and its upper house is spiritual. There's nothing commercial in it. The only part that's running commercial is the incorporations on a Maori side. Everything's Maori up there. Everything is Maui in Auckland. Maori up, up in Titi and Waitangi Marae, and the Maori Titiripi of Waitangi, Maori Treaty of Waitangi, Maori Tribunal, Maori Land Court, Maori everything is up there in those Marais. In Auckland, the Te Ungawaka Marae is a church Marae. Now, I come under the St. Mary's Church, that's my church in England. And in Scotland, it's particular in Edinburgh, Scotland, the Holy Grail is underneath the St. Mary's Church there. The Freemasons is there. And that's our business. The Freemasons are in this contract with me as a default on the Mohi Manukau and his titles that I hold here with the Freemasons. What I say default means I'm stuck to the Freemasons and their legal instruments. I will not be violating their instruments over the lands and all the best certificates, land titles and everything. That's up to the Westminster Magistrate Court and the Government of um, Britain, UK, Hanover in Westminster City, Westminster Magistrate Court and Westminster Parliament. So I'm going to my, Westminster a city to live in Paddington and to run the business of this British State Empire building in Auckland as the central point for the whole world here, the business. We're going to run it from here as being safe here 
and um, that's how it's looking under this flag here. We're flying straight to all the 250 countries on my website and that's got a dual government in there in the script. You can see it in the script, E-State Government. That's running right now. It's running under this budget with Cook Street land and all the rest of the lands in the world the Queen says she owns, the King actually owns. They're all these lands, a whole lot in occupation. Now the natives can't get their lands back unless they settle the account with the King. Not the Queen, but the King. The Queen has left and left the establishment in Westminster and gone to the EU Parliament as a conflict of interest and her family. That's what I'm saying. The 970 million trillion trillion pound note is right over her head. That's why I'm saying all the best certificates in the world of 70% of the people on this side of the King is worth a trillion pounds each. From all the money, this lot of thugs on this side underneath Queen Elizabeth, Queen Victoria and the Pope and the Church and State and City of London, Bank of England, Vatican City, Washington DC, United States of America, Israel, United Nations, EU, Parliament, ISIS, Queen Elizabeth II, Intuition New Zealand Limited here, <coughs> NZ Invest Company here in New Zealand, the 14 companies of the police here, and 80 altogether NZ Invest companies that are private, like the Co Queen's companies are private, and her latest company, Queen Elizabeth II, private. We're going after all that stolen wealth from this book. This book will recover all the stolen wealth, and it's got execution act. You get executed with the action here and hung in this book in 19 A4 pages, and that's all I need. 19 pages, not a whole raft of bullshit from America and their codes. The UCC, the Pope destroyed. In all these holy sees, the churches, it's destroyed. The United States is still using it. Trump says he's got a martial law on Syria, uh, Iran and North Korea. No, you can't do that, Mr. Trump. On this video, this book has got a writ warrant right over your head and martial law over your head, straight from Britain. Mark my words. You are a thug, Mr. Donald Trump, with Israel. You're Israel and Jim Benjamin Netanyahu. You're cited. You're cited in the 970 million trillion trillion down there for killing people. You are the pirates that are killing people in the world with this flag. It's going to bounce back on you because we're taking it from you, from the Queen, from the book government here, from the, uh, the useless um, Sean Elias, Chief Justice, and they've whopped her out, whopped the whole lot of them out because they're fraud. We've run out of options of law here that doesn't work for us. And the latest is, I never got my court hearing in Auckland District Court. Never would, because they haven't got anything to stack up against this. All your law books, you might as well throw them in the bloody bonfire because this one goes right over the top of your head. It's the end for you with this one. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I made this statement publicly. That John Key, you've been tried in Dilmawaka Marae, Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court in Ipsum, Auckland, on Friday the 29th of September 2017, the chiefs, paramount chiefs, found you guilty and got a warrant for your arrest. Now, our private investigator is British. He's an ex-British detective, Scotland Yard, and he's not going to let you get away with it, John Key, and Helen Clark, the whole lot of you thugs. They're going to get caught. Nick Smith, you and the... Uh, Conservation Department, you, you little weasel and little pedophile, you're going to get four caught. I cite you, I cite the whole lot of you. You've got a trillion pounds all on your head each. Doesn't mean to say you've got a trillion pounds in your bank, but it's going to whop you out and the rest goes to your boss, the Queen. 
and all the rest of her that you have libeled. John Key has libeled the whole of Air New Zealand. You're going to get this bill. You're all going to get the bill. Trillion pounds each. Don't laugh because it's true. What our court says, we are the native commercial landowners here in this country. When those chiefs come down here, they're commercial landowners. But at the present time, Bundy um, has got um, different ideas about that. So he may not want to be a commercial landowner, that's right, because he can stay as he is, that's his option. But I'm writing it up as it rolls out. What he ever says to me, anybody says to me, I write it. I put it straight online. So I put a lot of thought in what I say. I always put a lot of thought in what I say. What I say goes. I'm speaking in the place of the king because there ain't no king in Britain. I'm doing all talking for the king in his absence. But we are contractors with the king and nothing's going to change that. So the only one that's at the moment um, going along with the commercial side is Manahi in the courts. Manahi's a JP, he's in the, the courts all the time and adjudicating um, with the judges. Is the connection between the Queen's Bench Court and the King's Bench Court legal? Right? There's too much. It's too much for anybody to try and think they can do this. I warn anybody: do not use any of these documents that I put online because you've got a trillion pounds right on your head, and you'll get locked up for life. You'll get locked up because it's easy to find an act in here. It's right up the front. It's easy to pick one of these acts up for your head. Okay, if, if we can do that without a problem. We can do that, we can pull anything out of here without a problem. And just run the court hearing. Two hour court cases in London, the High Court of Admiralty in London. And if you don't turn up to the court like John Keane and didn't turn up to that court, it goes against you. It goes against you on the record because we're the native here. We are the real surname natives, not the Maori Iwis. Those are plastic. Maoris. They have Pākehās in them, white people. It's the same with Sodis. If you ripped all those rags off them, you'll find they're all white people, making out they're black people. They're trickery and skunks, the whole bloody lot of them. Everybody who wears something over their head is hiding behind Satan. Get a gun, boom, bang your head in with all the other people that don't like secrets. You can't hide from Moa. He's got his face wide open and the truth. Nothing but the truth, so help me God. You're lucky to be on this bloody earth. All you lot of thugs. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying it straight to your face on this video. That I'm just like, the truth deeds of truth is this law. This law in here. That's the law that created all the wealth in the world. And you lot of thugs have gone and stolen it. For that, you get arrested. All the killings, you fellows are all about killings. All you Satan lot, and you John Key, and this government over here, go and kill all the animals, kill the bees, kill everything, just for your wealth in your pocket. And it's come out of this flag and this book. You've altered all the laws so you can get away with it. Well, these are raw. These are the laws you altered when the British gave it to you. You legislated all the bad bits out. Now they're sitting staring at you. They're going to get you and hang you. I'm saying that on this video. The X are here. It says hang you. It means hang you. If you're a treason junkie, you're going to get hung. Don't care. Because that's the law. It's in this book. That's our flag to force martial law on you. Anybody in the world getting in a road as third party on their side, the Queen's side. I warn you on this video that we, are, we can do that as chiefs. We're not pussycat chiefs, not Hongiheka. He went on a warpath and that's the end of that. If you want to stay nice to people, well, you can stay being nice, but we're on a warpath with this flag. That's the 1834 Declaration of War flag to put a cordon around you and round you all up. It's a state of emergency because of the financial fraud going on, defrauding people in this country and all the other countries in the world. It's gone straight off this country. 
And all of you people in Parliament in Wellington, you're going to get the bill. All of you have got a trillion pound on your head. I've always said that long ago. Now it's getting real. Okay? Thank you very much. See you later. Bye.